Hey guys, so today is the episode I've been talking about for a couple weeks with the Instamatic 500 and we're going to be shooting a couple rolls of 126 film which I found on Craigslist for a few bucks and this camera and two packs of film we're going to be giving away. As usual we have Terry on makeup and Darby's going to be standing in for some modeling for us. A little bit about the camera. It's the Instamatic 500, made by Kodak, made in Germany. Nice solid build. The lever advance is on the bottom here. The shutter is on the top, which it also has. You can hook up a cable release so that if you want to take, you know, longer exposure or bulb or something. And then the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that it's not like a rangefinder where you can see the focus point. You just have to kind of guess by the numbers on the front by the feet or meters. And uh, that's about it. It's more like a Holga and it's got little icons on the bottom of a person, two people and a mountain. That way you know, kind of based on those, where your focus will generally be. But again, it's also got a hot shoe, which a lot of the other Instamatics don't have. So you can put a flash on it if you want. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The tripod mount is on the bottom and uh, should be fun. Fun little camera, just try it out. Not much to it. Let's go two lanes, like, let's go to the right here. Awesome. Look that way. Awesome. Look right here. All right guys, so the 126 film, it comes in these cartridges. So let's take a look. So it comes in these weird little cartridges where you don't even have to worry about how you load the film. You just pop the cartridge in. Here we go. And you can see there's a little arrow there and the cartridge has paper on one side, just like 120 film has paper and film together. So this just does it all for you. And then what we do, we pop this open right here with this lever. You have that. You just take this cartridge, you pop it in like that, close it, and then you just wind it. And if you can tell, you see the arrow? You just keep winding until you get to one. There's one. So now you're ready to shoot. Simple as that. And then when the film is all done, this will be empty and you'll be able to see through this little square. That way you know it's done and the camera will stop working, of course. So then you'll be ready to go. You just take the whole thing like this, send it in to get processed. And it's a square format. So that way, it doesn't matter if you hold the camera vertical or horizontal, same exact thing, just like a Hasselblad. So square format, just a little bit bigger than 35 millimeter, but smaller than 120 film. So that's all there's to it. Awesome. Okay. And let's, uh, All right. 
All right, guys, so that was it. We did a fun, quick shoot with Darby, and we got, I think, a variety of different shots. And it just goes to show that, you know, even though the film's expired, it might not always be the sharpest or the color might be a little bit off or something, but it's still fun. It's kind of like what the whole Instagram thing is based on, um, where you have these like variations in tone or just, you know, either grain or color shifts or whatever it is, but it's super fun to shoot. I wouldn't recommend it for a professional job, but for something like this, it's always fun and it's kind of uh, interesting to shoot with to see what you get. My biggest fear when shooting film though, is always shooting expired and then it doesn't turn out or they develop it and something goes wrong or there's some you know weird anomaly in the shot so other than that it's fun so leave a comment subscribe to the channel and i'm going to take the people that commented on this video and on the first one where i introduced the 500 and uh pick somebody at random i'm going to send them the camera two packs of film then uh yeah they're all yours to keep um i'll even pay for shipping and uh, the thing is, I don't know everywhere that develops that 126 film, but I do know in Portland at Blue Moon Camera, they develop it. I can send you that information along with the camera. So in case you can't find any place locally that will, you can always just send it out to Portland and they'll develop it for you, process it for you. And that way uh, you can have some fun. Thanks guys, see you next time.